everyone in today's video let's focus on uh, queue schemes we'll be looking at two queue schemes one is the drop tail and uh, red so first we'll look at uh, the general queue management schemes and uh, specifically we'll focus on drop tail then we'll focus on red and then we'll do the performance we'll capture the performance parameters of these two schemes yeah every uh, intermediate device or every router basically will uh, use the mechanism of store and forward so store and forward so basically what they do is whatever packets come to them they store them then they process it and they forward it so for storing and forwarding they use a queue so like we are aware uh, a general queue so one of the uh, schemes is when a new packet is coming in so that getting added to the queue that is called as enqueuing and likewise whatever are queued and uh, the router uh, wants to pick up one of the packets and then process it so that it can send it forward so it will pick up one of the packets generally it will be the from front of the queue that mechanism is called as dequeuing and in this experiment what we'll focus on is uh, we'll focus on just the nq mechanisms and the general nq mechanism that all of us are familiar with or in our in our day to day lives that we come across queues are uh, called as fifo first in first out so whatever packet is coming in uh, it will get added to the tail at the back of the queue and likewise whenever a router needs to process and send it forward so he'll use from the front of the queue so that's a general uh, fifo is a general mechanism but apart from this there are lots of other mechanisms also so for example uh, when a packet comes in and it is getting added to the queue Uh, what will be the scenario when the queue gets filled so when the queue gets filled what should the in queue mechanisms uh, do for example in drop tail what they do is it's simple very simple so when the queue here is the queue this is the front of the queue and this is the back of the queue and uh, when the memory locations are filled whatever new arriving packet so irrespective of what type of packet it is it is just dropped off this is a simple in queue mechanism that anything that is coming late after the queue has been full it is dropped off that is called as drop tail likewise here's another scheme random early detection like the name suggests early detection in this scheme what this scheme does is that he will not wait this scheme will not wait for the whole queue get to get filled even before it is uh, completely filled it will notice that it is getting filled and it will start dropping the packets that are arriving randomly so for example he will wait till minimum as the queue is getting filled he will wait till the minimum threshold so once the minimum threshold is crossed the queue detects that now the queue is going to get filled so whatever is coming after the minimum threshold he will be randomly dropping them and uh, as uh, uh, and randomly adding them as well so when they are getting added so once the threshold reaches the maximum threshold this is the end of the queue and after that everything will be dropped that is the early detection mechanism so now let's get into oh, the practicals let's focus on the drop tail queue management schemes here you, you can observe that uh, what we are trying to do is we are focusing on the connecting device here in two so we have configured in such a way that uh the feeds that are coming in n0 and n1 they are of 3 mbps and you can uh, see the other specifications we have ftp uh sending in packets here and likewise we have uh, cbr sending in U udb packets so observe that uh, it's 3 mbps and then outgoing link is just 1 mbps so we are creating a scenario where the outgoing link of this is weak and the incoming li links are fat pipes so we are creating a scenario of congestion over here so queue should quickly get filled and then it should start dropping so what we do is for the first experiment we'll set the mechanism as drop tail over here for n2 so let's go ahead let's get into the practicals 
let's minimize this keep it to a side so we are in ubuntu so we know to start the nsg we will have to use java minus jar nsg2 and we will run it in background so nsg has come up uh, we'll go to scenario wide scenario we need uh, totally n0 n1 n2 is the router and n3 is the destination then we'll get to the links and looking at the manual the manual says we need to create 3 mbps 10 milliseconds and q size of in fact we will have to choose drop tail we chose drop tail and then uh, it's uh, 3 mbps provocation delay of 10 milliseconds and packet size of 50 okay these are the specifications for this link and likewise this link as well now this outgoing link will have to make it 1 mbps so we'll keep it as 1 mbps and note we are still using drop tail we are into drop tail because we're focusing here so we want that into drop tail okay and then uh, delay 100 milliseconds and the queue size is 10 okay with these configurations we'll create a link here okay. then we'll go to the agents agents we want tcp Mm, agent to be here and uh, TCP sync to be here let's connect these two and likewise we also want UDP UDP we want it to be okay 15 uh, bytes 15,000 bytes and we want the UDP null to be here we'll connect these two as well We'll go to application uh, and FTP. We want it to add at one second, stop at eight seconds. So we take FTP, we'll connect it here. Then we want a CBR to start at one, eight, uh, 1500 packets, 1500 size of the packet should be 1500 bytes, and it's one Mbps. Okay, we have got the CBR. We'll go to parameters and let's name this as uh, this is basically experiment 04 and it is of drop tail so we'll put it as dt and nam also we'll use the same naming convention experiment 04 and dt dot nam we'll save this we'll now go to the tcl TCL has been generated and I will save this TCL our home directory I will name it as experiment 04.droptail.tcl we will save this then we will go back to the command form and then let us open the TCL file that we had created just now 04dt.tcl in gedit so that we can put some color codings in inside that uh, yeah so we'll set the color code as ns color one blue then dollar ns color two as red and likewise let's also make the uh, queue visible so that we can visualize we can see the visual representation so this is the place we need to put duplex link of dollar n2 dollar n3 q q position as 0.5 and then tcp let's use the color code for tcp as 1 tcp 0 set flow id as 1 then UDP let's use other color code UDP to set flow ID as 2 I think we are done so we'll save this and uh, we'll go to the command prompt now and we'll do ns experiment 04 
dt dot tcl so if everything is fine yeah everything is fine it got compiled and it also started the NAMP so we'll come here we'll just study it a little bit so this is the node where we'll have to see congestion so let's start it off so we started it and let's increase the step size a little bit so that it's a little bit faster yeah here we are approaching the one second the packets start flowing yes we have for UDP star packets flowing and uh, TCP also is flowing now you can see the queue over here the queue right now it has two elements and we had kept the queue size as 10 elements uh, so once it reaches 10 beyond 10 it should start dropping the tail because you're using the drop tail yeah now you can see so as soon as it reached 10 and uh, any packet that comes after the 10th packet it is dropping the tail this is how it is dropping the tail yeah we see a drop tail mechanism here the queue is dropping from the or the mechanism is dropping from the tail that is the drop tail okay let's fast forward this yeah and then uh, let's look at the statistics quit so look at the to get the parameters performance parameters we say awk minus f mgat wired dot awk and then uh, experiment 04 dt dot tr i'll give this as the input and we can see this per, per, the awk script has uh, calculated the performance parameters for us we'll uh, note this down we'll expand this uh, form a little bit yeah we'll keep it here like this this is better yeah we'll note them down so drop tail and we have uh, source to destination here we have tcp going from 0 0.3 It is going from 0 0.02. Oh, sorry, this has become too big. So let's minimize this a little bit. Yeah, this is better. 0 0.0, 3.0. Then uh, packet type is TCP. Packet size is uh, 1500. and start time is uh, one sec stop time is 6.48 sec and the packet sent 23 drops because of yeah now we can see here details drop packets due to congestion so as of now in this diagram we have seen only congestion so there are totally drops of that is queue fill when queue full so we have 10 packets dropping no package dropping because of errors no package dropping because of broadcast total retransmitted packets we can see seven of them and out of them one was duplicate so totally received on the other side or delivered on the other side or just 19 because of which the delivery ratio is 82.61 percent then drop is uh, 17 drop is 17.39 percent and uh, then average delay is oh, point average delay is point two five seconds and then throughput is three nine four four two BPS okay and likewise with UDP we have uh, UDP flowing between 1.0 to we'll use a different color here UDP is flowing between 1.0 it's getting to 3.1 and the packet types are CBR packet size 1500 starting from one sec stopping at 8.22 sec 
and totally 584 packets were sent out of them dropped because of congestion 11 and none of them because of errors none of them due to broadcast no retransmissions no duplicate packets totally 573 of them got received on the other side which is giving 98.12 percent of delivery and the drop is 1.88 percent of drops and the average delay is 0.22 seconds and throughput uh, is 951 816 bps okay now what we'll do is uh, we have the readings for drop tail so these are the readings for drop tail so likewise let's modify the uh, the experiment for the router to have the queue mechanism of rad and then let's look at the statistics so what do we need to do for rad also we have the whole similar circuit it's the same circuit except that at the router now we'll have to use a scheme rad scheme so for that there are two ways one thing is uh, uh, yeah let me before that let me just minimize this So we can go to NSG and uh, in fact uh, here either we can redraw the whole thing or since we anyway have the TCL file uh, let's make a copy of this let's say uh, save as and then instead of DT we want it to be RAD so we'll save it. We have saved it as RAD uh, and then we will keep everything same because the whole network is same and then we will just change the link. So this N2 to N3 link. So we want it to be RAD now. So we have the configurations uh, here N2 to N3. We want it to be RAD. So we will just remove this and we will call it as RAD and we will save this. So, and now we'll go back to the command prompt and then we'll use, uh, yeah, here, since we saved it as RED, we'll give it to network simulator. So, network simulator has come up and uh, then we'll just adjust it a little bit and we'll start the animation. We'll speed it up it a little bit yeah now we can see uh, your packets are flowing and we have a queue coming up over here so now let's see how the queue behaves over here yeah now observe that even before the queue is completely full till 10 the packets are dropping off after a certain threshold so early detection it is doing early detection is that queue is getting filled and then dropping them even before the queue is completely filled so that is how the RED is working. Yeah, let's uh, speed uh, speeden it up. Yeah, we can see that RED, unlike the drop tail, it's not waiting for the whole queue to get filled. It's doing early detection, and dropping them, dropping randomly. It's not dropping all of them. It will drop some of them randomly, and others will be enqueued. Now let's look at the performance uh, parameters here. So we'll use the awk itself and now oh we had actually not changed the trace file so trace has been saved in uh, dt itself so we'll have to use that in fact or we overrode the dt anyway we have the performance parameters here so these are the things that we need to note down we'll keep it to one side we have the table with us now let's note them down so tcp will use the black curve tcp is again we know it is flowing between 0 0 and 3.0 it's of tcp type and the packet size are 1500 it started at one second stopped at 7.16 seconds and totally 18 packets were sent across out of them 12 got dropped because of congestion no errors, no broadcast, 
and uh, 12 of them retransmitted out of them two were duplicate and as a result 16 got through so delivery is 88.89 percent and drop is 11.11 percent 11 percent and the average delay is 0.75 seconds and the throughput was 29 kilo bits approximately likewise for UDP it's between 1.0 3.1 CBR 1500 is the packet size started at 1 second stopped at 8.0 16 seconds sent 584 totally dropped 14 because of congestion nothing because of errors nothing because of broadcast no retransmissions no duplicate packets total delivered 570 and the delivery ratio 97.6 percent drop ratio 2.4 percent and delay 0.16 4 seconds and throughput is 954 848 BPS ok this is how in this uh, video we have seen the Q mechanisms in the router one is the drop tail and the other is the RED ok with this we will stop thank you see you in the next video